the, what's really interesting is when we, we start to meditate, we find out about the judge, the inner judge, don't we? And it's so funny because then, we, we, well, first of all, we, we start to become aware of how we judge everybody else. Look at this one over there. And, you know, we've got a little running commentary basically on everybody, right? Oh, I like that one. And then we start noticing how we're judging ourselves because now we're judge the judging. So one of the things that's really helpful with all of this is not to take it personally. So if you think of your thoughts, there's judging thoughts, but there's also many other kinds of thoughts. There's daydreaming thoughts and desire thoughts and fear thoughts and, you know, all kinds of thoughts, anger thoughts, happy thoughts, love thoughts, judge thoughts. So the judging is, you know, sometimes we pick that one out and get fixated on that. But if we think of all of these, all of these types of thoughts as you can think of them like traffic going by. You can think of it like a cloud going by, judging cloud, wanting cloud, fear cloud, desire cloud, anger cloud, lazy cloud, sleepy cloud, awake cloud. And just don't, it, a cloud is a good one because you can't keep that, right? So you just let them come and go. So judging is just one more of those things that's empty, inherently empty. So judging is just a thought. I like, I don't like. It's good, it's bad. It can be directed at, you know, somebody else or at myself, but that's all it is. It's a thought about it's good, it's bad. So if you just see that go by, then don't hold that, then you're free of it. You know, but then we can get ourselves worked up into this thing where like the thought comes like, why am I such a bad Zen student? Why am I still judging myself while I'm sitting here? Well, I'm judging my practice and I wish I wasn't so, you know, stuck in my thoughts. And so what that is, is just one thought after another coming and we call that judging. So just don't hold any of them. Let them go by. Like a car going by then you're free. But when we reach out and we hold on to it um, and we get into it and we take it personally, that's where we get stuck in it. And that's where then we can't see clear. And that goes back to my thing. Like we don't see things as they are. We see things as we are. All things created by mind alone. So hopefully, hopefully that's helpful.